So a funny thing about nostalgia, you don't really think about it until it kind of fucking appears. And I had no real plans for stream up until the Nintendo Direct today, where the game, where Nintendo was like, "Hey, we put them back online. You're welcome." And they still haven't put Mother Three on here. God damn it! But I was like, you know, I haven't played Earthbound in a hot fucking while. So let's do it on a theoretically inferior version. Also, I don't know what special Super Metroid is, but whatever. I want to play some Earthbound. I want to go ape. So I've had discussions with chat and other people before in that I've always had a hard time going back to video games. It, but weirdly enough, Earthbound was never one of those things that gave me a problem. Chat, get the name, everyone. Uh, hmm. You know what? Sure. Earthbound is very weird. It's probably the strangest game I've ever played by merit of. It didn't get strange until like mid 2000s when everybody started trying to make the quirky. I've always considered this like the idyllic American JRPG in that it depicts an idyllic America for you to play. Kind of. I totally forgot that we go to fucking the, the swamps here. It's like a- it's like going back to the good old Roaring Twenties as a JRPG. And it's just... kind of fucking fun. In between the music and the character designs and the fucking dumbest shit plot and the characters, I just never have- I never not have fun with this game. Also, the audio sounds quiet to me, but I don't know about you guys. How do you feel about the audio? Idyllic Louisiana. I don't know if there is something like that. But yeah, I kind of want to let this run a little bit just because I've never actually seen the attract mode of Earthbound. Alright, I bumped it up a little bit. Let me know if it's, uh... Let me know if it needs more. Let's begin. Uh, fast speed, please. Stereo sound, please. Uh, plain, minty green, a strawberry, banana, or peanut. I really like the color orange, so I'm gonna go with that. All right, chat, who's the main character? For don't care options, we have Ness, Alec, Roger, Will, Brian, Tyler, Lane. Everybody really wants it to be Wang. Alright. Add a little bit of my own flair there. So I used to think that said Pokesta, but apparently that's Sodiska. What's her name? We have Paula, Nancy, Sky, Paige, Marie, or Holly, or Jane. <laughs> what is this Highwing's favorite VTuber? <laughs> I like that idea so much, I'm gonna go with that. And I'm gonna get yelled at by someone. It's Itoi saying, okay, Deska. Okay, that makes sense. Who are they? They're either Jeff. Dan, Henry, Isaac, Ralph, Sean, 
or rob. Bastard. Dongs. No. <laughs> oh, man. I would get yelled at for that. <laughs> oh, yeah, let's go for it. Sadly, we can't get a little diddly bob with him. Okay, Who's this guy? He's either... Wow, game, fuck you, I guess. Kato, Kai, Omar, Ramin, or Aziz, or Lado. Puang. <laughs> no. Five characters, yeah. <laughs> but would be pretty funny. I want to put Festivore, but there's like no way to put Festivore in there. I have an idea. Let's see if you vibe with it, chat. No, no, it's that's not the odds. That's the odds. I'm glad some people get it. Spanx. Ah, oh, butts would be funny, but I feel like it's kind of not there, honestly. Man, this is actually the hardest one, shit. Sure, sword was 1 128, so much like all the ultimate weapons. Monkey. Why is this the hardest one to find a good name for? Like, I've seen chat suggestions, I'm just kind of like, eh, not feeling that. That's poo, now he is piss ew. They also come from that also comes from entirely different ends. What the fuck? I'll go with Fessy. Best I could do for Festivore, but it's like the best fitting one in my opinion. It's not great, but uh, what can you do? The dog should be Oozworm. Oh no. <laughs> oh shit! I forgot we could name the dog! I am going to get yelled at if they come over. Favorite homemade food. I believe it's one of the don't cares. Wow, it's not. That's wild. Normally I would put salmon in there because I like that, but can't resist. Homemade pizza! What's your favorite thing? I know what this one is, but is it? Gaming! Okay, 
Let's go. Terrible. So I've always been curious about something, because every time I replay this on an emulator, I always get, like, the same scenarios pop up. I'm wondering if it's because my ROM is set to, like, a weird random seed. So it'll be interesting to play it on this. Hotel. On it, a small town in England. Some people will call it one it and they're fucking weirdos. It's on it town. So one of the big reasons why I resonated in, with this game so much is because I grew up in a small town like on it. So it felt wild to be like, huh. This feels this feels really close to home. Like, I looked at Onnit Town and I could identify a lot of places like my hometown and it was wild. Meteors! So I believe... Yes, one thing to note about this game is that you can actually do a lot of commands with the L button. So you could actually play this game one-handed for whatever reason. Hello, sis. I damn near shat myself! But that's besides the point, I'm here to steal your shit. Why do you have- never mind. Give me that shit. Behold the source of every quirky- Yeah, it's true, I always- I've always hearkened it to more like the idyllic American RP JRPG. But what could you do? Like this is this is six this is like twenties as fuck. You don't seem scared. I mean we're still standing. Damn, my mom is very forgiving. Holy shit. Did you know that the the online store fan gamer has a storefront where you could buy Ness's entire outfit for some reason. Hey, dog, let's go. Why aren't you asleep? Because a fucking meteor exploded, you dumb animal! Yeah, this is the Americana experience, and I think that's why, it re that's why it's so popular in, the, in a lot of ways. I want to go home, but the road is closed. People are taking this meteorite situation seriously. Meteors? Hello? Onnit police are infamous for closing roads. If something happens, we're going for the world record. Even back then, all cops are assholes. I just want to what? Go home! South to the suburbs of Onnit. It's kind of wild that we live next to a fucking billboard. Look at this dude. Like a meteorite landing nearby. I want to be the first to see it, okay? Good fucking luck. Now what's this house over here? Everybody has had this family. Your next door neighbors. Huh. They're not here. Also, Keen, you gotta... You're not wrong, but you also gotta keep in mind what you mean by recently. Because in my mind, the explosion started in, like, 2005, 2008. Get your ass home! No, fuck you. Ain't no curfew. The sharks... There are sharks in town? What? I hate my job! Maybe you should get educated. You just go to the hilltop? Nope. Turns out cops are actually terrible at law enforcement, because they're not enforcing anything out here. Hey, you! 
Ooh, neat. I could use my, uh... I could use the control stick, which actually feels a little bit better for some odd reason. Ah, I love my steel bread rolls found in the hills of Onnit Town. This shit's probably weeks old! Hey, buddy! That was fun, because I always eat garlic and work out! It's actually real good advice. You should eat garlic. I almost told you about my, uh... Did you see my billboard? I wrote it myself. I'm a billboard guy. Why don't you check out my billboard? Is that a real job? So... I never realized how bad a pun this was. I always thought it was liar aggregate. But no, my dumb brain didn't read it and realize it's Liar Exaggerate. That's a weird looking meteor. Ooh. Did you do something about your stupid friend? Are you two friends? No. Come on, help me out here! Alright, you dumb kid. Have you rubber negging? You're getting in the in the officer's way. Ah, Pokey will tell you about the strange meteorite. I'm fine here, but you're bugging the officers. I'm a Southern Twenties dandy. <laughs> Till this sounds like everyone's giving you shit. Ain't that the norm, though? Grandfather worked as a truck litterer. Neat. I say walking into a tree whilst I read chat. Also, how does audio sound? I'm still not sure if it's like overpowered or not. Hi, Mom! Yeah, sure. Your voice is much louder than the game. Naturally. I'll bump it up a little bit more. Let's go with this. I think this is gonna sound good. Also, man! Whoever's knocking on the door is an asshole! It's a fucking drum line. My land! What does that mean, Mom? I'm of the opinion that he's fucking, like, body slamming the door. Do you just not take off your clothes? They left suddenly because there's nothing to worry about. Oh, that too, I guess. Damn, you lost your little brother? That fucking sucks. Damn, that sucks. We could say no, but... I kind of want to go out at night. He should take Uzurum along. I know he's not reliable. Sure I am. Are you gonna tell me to use my force as well? Yeah, no does absolutely nothing, not even anything funny. Oh, damn! My sister rules! Nah. I only have the cracked bat in the cookie right now. Come on, animal, let's go. 
Do, 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 do. I did equip the bat. Kuzorm has joined the party. Who the fuck is calling at 3 a.m.? Also, thanks for the save, Sosagomi. Work to exhaustion when you're wrung. Have you ever heard a weird saying like this? Yeah, it's a dumb saying, Dad. What of it? I appreciate your support, Dad. Oh man, $30! I have an ATM card when I'm eight? Dad, you're weird. I like you though, Dad. You give me $30 for no real reason. Crow! All of you are worthless. No, my bread roll! You give that back! Damn, this bird's fucked up. I like how the dog missed the bird twice. Also, have you ever tried to hit a crow with a baseball bat? It kind of fucking sucks. Do I get my fucking... Do I get my bread roll back? Motherfucker, they took my bread roll! That piece of shit! Why are you already spawning? That's weird. Damn, ooze room! Did you learn to hit something? Well, apparently I can't hit anything. Fuck. So here's the interesting question. Is there a turbo thing for the, uh... For the Nintendo emulator? Oh! Oh, wow. I guess I'm just instantly psychic? Huh. That explains why the thing showed up. I'd never really level up this hard. Wild animals! Fuck! Finally, the dog hit something! I do like how you never actually kill anything in this game because you're not a horrible murder hobo at 12. You just pacify them by beating them up until they realize, what the fuck is wrong with me? I'm beating up a child. Oozworm is very strong. Mom did say Ooze was unreliable. Yeah, but Mom doesn't know what she's talking about. I just like to imagine in the middle of the night, people are hearing a dog howl and bark at each other. See, look at that. Oozeworm helped. Oh man, I just had a dreadful realization. What if this version of the Earthbound ROM has the anti-piracy hack? Because I don't remember having to fight this many animals on the way to the fucking meteorite. That would just be terrible! I'm already level 3! I don't remember being this level when I played the game last. It shouldn't, this is the official company. This is emulated, which means the anti-piracy thing could still be triggered, Sosagomi. It may be official, but also, Nintendo could just be bad at programming. Uh, well, we're still pretty good on stats. Ah, woo! Fuck this place, about! I gotta drink some tequila!
You woke me up. Pokey, you dipshit, where were you? I like the thought of that this meteor bounced on the way here. No, you crazy? And now it is time for the entire plot of the video game right here. I for 10 years in the future, and then the future, all oh, is devastation. Oh, uh, God. I forget the name of the guys who did the parody raps, but they did one for this game. And they just rapped Buzz Buzz's speech for their music, and it was pretty great, actually. There's a well-known legend that four 12-year-olds will beat up this horrible alien. God, playing this game again just makes me dreadfully worried for the other two games that are currently being quote-unquote developed for quote-unquote Mother 4. Because Oddity has promise, but also I haven't been hearing good things about it, so I'm a little worried about that. And then somebody else announced Mother 4, and I'm just like, hmm. Yes. I, I've heard the story so many times. Wasn't there a fan project? There are two fan projects. There's Oddity, and then there's Mother 4. And I had high hopes for Oddity because I like the idea of... Uh... Oh god, what, what was the... What movie poster were they parodying? Wait, your name is Penis? Can I get a mulligan on the hero? Man, I'm not a hero, what the fuck? This is bullshit! Oh, 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 there we go. One of the things is literally called Mother 4? Yes! And it was after Oddity got renamed because they got hit with a DCMA. I'm still slobber knockered that Live and Live got- Yeah, uh, Team Octopath got a lot of work that we didn't know about. First, the Final Fantasy VI remake, and now Live a Live? Live Alive? Oh no, aliens! Buzz Buzz, you bitch! I have to stop you now. I love the boss music in this game. It's so good. That fucking intro is great. Also, the Starmen were always such an evocative, like, alien design. Look at this shit. Just v instantly memorable. I just like how the kids are trying desperately to fight me while the bee is stinging the alien. Do 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 do. Man, why can't we have Picky on the team? He seems like he's pulling work. Oh no, fire! Yeah, Buzz Buzz basically does all the work here. It is primarily an introduction to, like, the idea of boss fights in this game. I was thinking a big chance there. He came from 10 years in the future. Ah, yes, the far-off year of 2010. Actually, this takes place in 1990X, so it would be 2000X. You will be fighting people, human beings, with evil thoughts. Is there a place? No, no, no. They're just aliens. Alright, let's deliver the two idiots home. Uh, 
I'm pretty sure we've all had neighbors like this. I'm really sorry that my kids troubled you so much. Time to belt you, boys! God, if this happened, I would just fucking leave. I'll be happy if you left sometime soon. I'm tired of your family living next door. Your dad's a petulant asshole. Oh my god, why would you give out a loan then if it stops your well-being? You're an asshole! The truest evil known to man, a Karen. I don't know why, but Ness's stance here seems really funny to me. It's just like, wow, dude, really? In JP version, he uses up something called a million bajil- Funny story about that, Commander Keen. Um... There was apparently some news about uh, Joe Rogan's podcast going from Spotify to somewhere else. Somebody offered a million dollars, but then another company qu countered with, and I am not joking here, a million bajillion dollars. Think about it, Joe. That's a bigger number. Gagas, your own power must unite with the Earth. The Earth will then channel your power and multiply it. There are eight points you must visit. Make them your own. Each of these locations are your sweet hangouts. One of them is near Anna Town. It is Big Step. Do you understand? Yes. Wow, you're just trying to advance the all oh, the pain, all oh, pain. Urgh. So how tiny is this rock, or how big is Buzz Buzz? By the way, here's the speed trap. I'm fading fast! Ah! But I keep a cactus. Uh, goods. If you touch this to your forehead and concentrate your thoughts, your sanctuary melodies can be heard. I never actually used this item. That's weird. Huh. How long did we wait for Pokey and Picky to get belted? Ah. Uh... Old 15-year-old Highwing used to sing this song in his head whenever he would go to school. Bruh. I don't know why Fuzzy Pickles put okay. I was 12 when this came out. When did this come out? Because then I could calculate my age. Hello, dog. I don't want to go out anymore. I'm a fucking indoor dog now. Fuck that. Dude, I love AAM pizza. Thanks, Mom. 95. So I would have been 9 when this came out. I think. That about tracks, yeah. I was one goodness. Where'd all these wild animals come from?
Man, if I walked outside and I got bit by a snake, I'd just go right back home. <laughs> just get the fucking first aid kit. Call 911, that shit may have been venomous. Okay, I forget if I actually ever need this, but you can get the map here. You know, the X button. What the fuck are you talking about, lady? So, fun fact, when this game came out, uh, it came with a strategy guide fully in it. And in it, they had stylized versions of the town maps and, like, newspaper articles and shit. And I thought that shit was fucking cool. So much so that when Fangamer made their own version of the book, I bought it damn near instantly. But there's another thing we could get on the outskirts of town. By the way, it just occurred to me... We live on the outskirts of town. Hmm. Where is it? Should be here? No. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking for the. I'm looking for that. Yeah. I just don't remember where it is. I kind of don't want to fight. So get the fuck out of my way, birds. go right into the tree. Yeah, but it's somewhere in like a patch of trees is the issue. I just don't remember where. It's closer to the library. Yeah, there it is. Good job, guys. Yeah, this one is pretty goddamn important. I'll give you my Mr. Baseball cap. I know you wanted it for a long time. It's the best cap for someone brave like you. Damn, I wish someone would I wish people would give me their caps. I want free shit. It is a big defense buff. I had a dream about you. You're traveling with a cute girl. If that dream comes true, say Okay. Okay. Oh, Fucking weirdo. Mmm... You know, I'd be a bit more, uh, receptive of that if you didn't open up with, like, a weird fucking statement like that. Free head lice! Shit, you're right. And the thing that Earthman is most famous for... Garbage burgers! Because we're fucking six years old, of course we don't have any money. Well, we have that $30 that Dad gave us, so... The flowers in the garden are representations are representative of those in your heart. Treat them both nice, and don't walk over them. Man, that's fucking deep. Welcome to beautiful Onnit Town, the wildflower of Eagleland. Not gonna lie, that's actually kind of a great title for the town. If you're in trouble, consult your kind-hearted mayor. Yeah, just leave your friends in the hospital, or they can accumulate horrible debt! I don't think I've ever been here. I moved here from the way, way, way next town. In the next town, there is... Polar Star Pre- Oh, so you're from... You're from Tucson. That's wild! I've never seen that character. Finally arrived. Yeah! It's back again for the third time. We don't read the paper and we don't want any milk either! We're just horrible people that live here in a fucking apartment complex out in the middle of nowhere! Oh, there's just a dead house here, what? The early game is very, uh, open-ended because they kind of want you to take in the town, you know? 
Rumor has it that the boss is hanging out at the giant step. Uh, no, he's right there with his weird, like, gunpla model. I didn't think anybody would get a 1 1 30 second model hit. Holy shit. Try to, you know, looking around. You look so helpless. Are you okay? No. Good and strong, the kids are on it. Kids of Onnit Town. I always like this guy because I just imagined that he was the, uh,. The dad of what's her face from Peanuts. We're never gonna talk to him though, ever. Fuck that guy. Yeah, Lucy. I always thought that was Lucy's dad because that stand is very much an homage to that. Are you weighing my sense of something about going to a hideout? I don't know what he was talking about. Oh, I like that there's a, a clue for that, but there's, like, no clue for the clue. This town is out of control. The wild boys are hanging out in town. The cops have been cracking down on everyone. I'm considering moving to Tucson. Bro, are you hiding? Liar, exaggerate. Finally found something interesting. I heard he'll only show it to you. Oh, right! I never do this because you're never given a, like an explicit clue for this. You think the fights gets you money? That sounds dumb. I ain't gonna fight wild animals. That sounds like something a crazy person would do. What notable movies were out in '95? Obviously, Star Star Wars. Everybody's seen that shit. Oh, God damn it! I was looking at chat. Destroy animal! Well, you get the exclusive, explicit clue that a hideout exists, but not a location. It could be like the back alley of a fucking Whataburger for all I know. Uh-oh. I fucked up. It's a good thing I got that hat because it's making a lot of the attacks fucking worthless. I'm half tempted to take time like at the end of streams to bust out the uh, my earthbound quote unquote strategy guide and show it off. Cause I think it's actually a really cute book. I spent like, I think 35 bucks on it, which is a little insane, but like, it's a real good book. It's very reminiscent of the strategy guide. I could save Sosagomi, but I could also not and get level 4 and get 6 offense up. Holy shit. And have hypnosis ready to get. Is this a game where status effects work? The OG guide had scratch and shift portions. Yeah, it did! That shit was fun. The 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 fan gamer one has one too, but it's not the exact same. Ayla, thanks for the raid. I hope you're ready for America JRPG. Where is Liar's house? Damn, bitch, you live like this? I'm doing this because I trust you. First, let's go to the basement. Ah! Uh, yeah, that's a little weird. I know you think a liar, but I think I'll surprise you. Hey, buddy, you want to see something cool? Come to my basement. Are you allowed to fucking dig into your property like this? Homeowners in the chat, is this allowed?
I mean, odds are it'll break your foundation and your fucking plumbing as well, but I'm just like... I have food for a great treasure, a huge haul! I'll show you, but you're the only one, come on. So this is very important to know about. It's not important to see, but it is a huge foreshadow. My destiny is fine to dig up all the buried treasure. I'll eat garlic and work out to help strengthen myself. Now go away, you're getting in the way of my work. The golden statue is glowing strangely. Oh god, that's right, he lives on the fucking cliffside. It'd be wild if he just dug himself into oblivion. Ten push-ups. I'll do them later, if that's cool. God damn wild dogs! I could do them after the fight. Let's fight with this weird dog with, like, glasses. I hey, really missed two, fu two hits. Alright, push-ups. Enjoy this wonderful music? Sorry about that. <laughs> Just fucking elbow check the chat. That faint counting. I mean, yeah, I'm a nerd who streams on Twitch five times a week. Hi, Sosagomi. I see you're playing Breath of the Wild. What's up? <laughs> One of the problems of streaming on the Switch that I should probably rectify, I just never really thought to do it. What the hell? Oh. Oh, thanks, Discord, for doing that. I appreciate it. Thanks for saying I've been doing nothing and thus you put me in baby jail. How much is Earthbound on Switch? It is the cost of the Nintendo Online subscription fee because it's part of their retro console thing. Much like Earthbound, you could also get Picross on that service and then lose your mind, like I have. Thank you, DJ Wing. Kill dog. I really do feel like that this game is absolutely something that people should play in any capacity. Cause like, it really does feel like a cultural milestone in a lot of ways. This is on the 3DS? Holy shit. Yeah, HD Live a Live is certainly interesting. Like, it looks really good. Now that we've done all that, I believe the next goal on the agenda is to... So I know where to go in actuality, but I should probably show how you should actually play the game. You go here, and the door is locked. This lo shot is locked from City Hall, so we can't use it. Because Frank trashed the place, what a drag. I don't know who these two guys are, but hey. What is this, anyways? Traveling Entertainers Shack. So I guess those guys are traveling entertainers? We gotta upgrade our gear, the crack bat sucks. Hey, don't, don't talk about my sister's stuff. 
She held on to me. She held on to that for me for some reason. Why did you hold on to my broken baseball bat, sis? Do I have any money? I do not. Welcome to the automated teller machine. Please select a transaction. Dang, Dad, did you give me a fucking C note? Oh, I do have money. Look at that. I'm Rafini. I'm being possessed by the spirit of the game designer! You see that window showing HP and PP at the bottom of the screen? When you go to a store that has equipable items, this the flash look normal or go black? Blah, 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 blah. If it's better, it flashes. If it's not better, it goes black. Now it's time to be a regular dog. See, that's kind of the thing I like about this game, because the developers just didn't give a fuck. And sadly, it's not as charming as, like, say, Toad walking in and telling you a tutorial. You know, this guy's like, Hey! I'm a fucking dog, but the game developer's possessing me! What's up? What you got, Grandma? Only idiots get cold in the summer. So I forget how this works. Yo, the yo-yo line of stuff is something everybody could equip, but it's less accurate, right? Would you like to equip your baseball bat? What the fuck does that mean, cash register man? Can I sell anything? I can sell my burger. I'm actually pretty fucking hungry. Can I have that burger? Nah. It'd probably be better just to get some just to get some fights in. There's only one bad baseball bat. Yeah, that's the Casey bat. Can you guess why? A girl named Nina lives in two cities. Mother went to preschool. Can't remember the name of the school, but I heard she's really special. Why? I forgot to ask. Wow, you're an idiot, aren't you? The Casey bet is so fucking funny. Let's go to Town Hall and get this shit sorted out, because I'm sure the mayor is a reasonable and upstanding fellow, right? You do have a point, Ablative, just because I don't think modern media uh, references the Mighty Casey story. I'm really in a bad mood. Why? Because the mayor doesn't like me. I think I'll just kick back for a while. Wow, you're an asshole. This is a school holiday today. Have you done your homework? Are you my dad? Are you my dad? Shut the fuck up! There's a lot of snakes and straight dogs around on it. Yeah! That is weird, isn't it? Some suspicious girl can kids are hanging out at the wizard. Oh yeah, those guys, they're cool. I started a movement that'll stop all the bad influences on the children of Onnit, like those goddamn video games. I tell you, I saw a giant ant what time? Oh. I didn't mean to spoil did ant mean to spoil it for you. Fucking puns. Hour for City Hall, but somehow Mayor Perkle bugs me. Let's keep this between you and me, buddy. Yeah, the gutsy bet, I believe, is another one of the 1128 chance drops. Mayor's office on the second floor, you need an appointment before you visit. I'm gonna have to try to stop you if you try to see the mayor. Man, you're bad at your job! Mayor is busting his butt with all the troubles in town, like the sharks and the meteorite. Are you the guys trying to reform the sharks? You gotta be kidding! Uh. Oh! This, she said they were gonna stop me. So, I don't know where they tell you to do this personally. I'm operating on fuzzy memory. But you just gotta beat the shit out of the sharks. Oh man, that fucking chug! 
No, 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 no! Mm. If I remember right, the skate punk is the hard one. <laughs> yeah, he is. Oh god, they're all just terrible. Ah. That was unfortunate. So I think I lose half my money, unfortunately. Which makes getting that bracelet a lot harder. And more importantly, I have to walk all the way the fuck back. Half of your carried money. Yeah, that was the problem. I had $80. You know what you must do. You're right. Let's save. <laughs> Cheater, I know. So the best way to secure what we need to do is to get 98 bones. Just because these guys hit like a fucking freight train and a half. But also they tend to travel in packs of two, so you gotta be careful. I don't remember a screen trick. Oh, I don't have any PSI, god damn it. No, you get the money no matter what. He just tells you how much he's deposited. Going back and forth resets the spawn. So I know I could go all the way back home to get a free rest spot, but that takes fucking time. Also, that's a lot of money, so let's... Let's just... <laughs> let's just love state and go back. I didn't realize the hotel was fucking $35! Fuck that! Ma, do we still have some AAM pizza? I thought it was like $10. This is from before the thing that made you need to do the rest. No, that was afterwards because Sosagomi punished me and I decided to do that as a joke. I know my goddamn meta. Speaking of Sosagomi, there's an interesting rumor going around that since the Live a Live remake was confirmed, a Final Fantasy Tactics remake is going to be confer is basically confirmed. And if that's the case, I may have to redo the stream again. Though they're probably going to balance a lot of shit and then I'm just going to feel fucking bad. We have an FFT remake at home. Yeah, and it's really poorly programmed. Look at these guys, I could just talk to them and they fight. You bitch! Ooh, hamburger! So I think dancing will still be powerful, Sosogumi, but I feel like a lot of the jank shit that we did in that game won't work. Like, Monk Hill won't exist. Hey, buddy, what's up? I want to start shit, hell yeah! Let's fight in the street! Oh, man, this, that's the thing I bet they're gonna nerf the shit out of.
What's in the cabbage? Ah, fruit juice. Healthy and good for you. Now we could do the random encounters, but I believe you could just do all of the fights in game. It was you! You beat up my buddy, didn't you? Man, these guys are fast. Nice! So, critical hits in this game feel real fucking good. Hamburger. Where was he fix the war lines? Yeah, you absolutely can. Burger. Hey, bitch. You sound like a real whiner to me. Don't get lippy or I'll kick your butt. Wow, you're not a fight. That's wild. Well, it's that alongside the fucking text they use. The text they use for crits is real good. To tell you the truth, I like drinking tea and eating fresh vegetables, but that doesn't fit my super cool image. I guess I'll just have to accept that about myself. When you buy it an item that should be equipped, you bother to actually equip it. I gave a hint to my own enemy. I'm such a rockin' dude. I have total confidence in my own abilities. So you're ready to get it on, Spanky? This game's fuck. This game's fucking weird. I killed him in one hit. Get fucked. Ooh, I'm level five now, but my power didn't go up. Just my hup hups. You want some gum? Get your own, twit. Frank has an incredibly powerful weapon. It's called a knife. I wonder if that gets me enough money to get the bracelet, because that would be really good for the fight against Frank. Where is the atom? There's the atom. I like how there's a fucking broom closet for the a for the ATM. I think that's just enough. As I've seen gains. Yeah, he does. Let's go shopping, lads. Yeah, this song just lives in my head. Though, admittedly, these days I've been playing the town theme for uh, Radiata Stories in my head a lot. If you ever want to hear it, just look at the song Song of Freedom Fighters from Radiata Stories. It's a real fucking good song. Nice, we put on a bracelet! It's kinda cheap. I like the idea of a more modern Earthbound S game to have dumb shit like, you need to buy equipment. Hey look, the Ren Fair is in town! I think that'd be pretty, pretty funny. Hey kid, you wanna become a member? Yes. Come back after you finish Earthbound. I remember being stuck for a day when I rented this game because I thought that was the case. I thought I tried beating the game, not realizing this was the uh this was the uh, progress point, but I was also like eight. No, fuck you. Don't be such a snob. Yeah, that fucking bracelet matters, holy shit. So are you ready to meet our very positive local gangster, Frank? Come on, can't you at least say your name? This song is so fucking good. Also, yeah, we're just beating up Duke Nukem in the back of an arcade and he's got knives. I think hypnosis works here? That knife fucking hurts though, you better be careful. 
Yeah! No, my guts! Don't call me a coward! That's my guts! Ah! Steal this man's knives. Me Lamo Wang. What? <laughs> Failproof Frank can't be beaten. Here's the Frankie Stein Mark II. I appreciate that you call your fucking robot the Mark II. I, I get it. Don't worry, dude. I get ya. I don't think the Frankensteiner can be put to sleep. I think this is just a straight up slug fest. With a big ol' slug there. Ah! Burger! Burger! Oh, delicious burger. Ow! That was a bit touch and go there. He alternates so you can def defend on turns he attacks. Yeah, that's what smart, attractive people do, Divine Hero. <laughs> this is my first defeat. Failproof Fink is now just a failure. I know you've been asking around, so I'll tell you about Giant Step. It's quite a powerful spot. The monster sucked up all the energy, though. It's hard to get there. You need to collect more info on your own. You've become stronger than I, a local gangster, with a knife! Thank you for being very supportive, Frank. Yeah? Yeah? Grind cave god, right. Uh, well, we got all the gear, we're just down a hamburger and I don't really think I need one. Oh wait, I gotta talk to the uh, the mayor of One It, don't I? He also down that fucking yeah, fuck that birdie. He took my goddamn bread roll. Terrible run, unoptimized as shit. Did you grab the cap? Yep. Did you beat up the sharks? You're the talk of the town. Perkle's waiting for you. Look at this douchebag! In the next eleven please, election, please give a speech supporting Mayor Perkle. Hee hee hee. Hey hey hey, I'm Mayor B.H. Perkle. It's so nice to meet you. You beat up the town bullies, punched them out big time, kicked their butts, spit their heads off, spit in their eyes, and made them piss themselves. Then you forced them to promise not to make any more trouble. Thank you. What? You want a key to that shack out back? For someone as good as you, giving you the key can make the town peaceful and I don't have to do shit. If you encounter this situation though, please don't allow me to ask me to take any responsibility. I'm the mayor after all. Sure. You're a smart kid. Here, I have the key to the shack. So, fun fact. I forget if it's with the, uh, the guide or the Runaway 5 t-shirt, but you, if you bought one of those products from Fangamer, you got a pin that said, I support Mayor B.H. Perkle. I love that pin to death, and it got knocked off my backpack in college, and I've been super bummed out about it ever since. By the way, for those of you that don't know, um, I do enjoy this game so much that I do in fact have a Runaway Guys t-shirt. And I used to have a poster. I don't know if my folks still have that poster. I need to, I need to pick that up actually. Shit. That was a good ass poster.
Ma, I need some of that 9 a.m. pizza. Save? Okay. Nah. I'll do a legit save to show what it's like, but then I might just use save states because it's simpler. It's dead. I deposited 245. Or keep it an eye on your bank account. You're spending a lot of money, kid. That's the, that's your college fund, kid. By the way, this is a speed trap. Oh no, it's not. I thought that was a yes/no prompt. But yeah, as chat mentioned before, the house theme is Pollyanna. Pollyanna being the big pivotal song in Earth in uh, Mother Mother One, or as Nintendo's taken to calling it, Earthbound Zero, aka Earthbound Beginnings. I don't know why they don't just call it Mother. Time for the cave! Oh, that's a snake. I thought that was a frog. Earth Island Begins is the official- Ah! Okay, good. They get rid of the key from your inventory. I think you get a travel amulet. Really? I never knew that. Because that'll be very important for what's about to go down. You open the door. Here's a trinket for good luck. It's the travel charm. Hey, thanks, buddy. I keep trying to open up a menu traditionally, but no. I forget, does the travel charm actually do anything? I'm guessing it's like anti-poison. Paralysis. Ah, yes, that is actually very important. By the way, here's your enemies for the dungeon. They're little pixels. But actually, they're the attack slugs! Oh no! At this point in the game, you can really do only one thing. But I believe if we level up properly, we could get something very important at this point. We could get something very helpful. I don't remember what level it is at. Yeah, the EXP pinatas, they're very good. They're not my favorite EXP pinatas, though. We won't see those up until, uh, until, uh, Barf's Factory. Hey, buddy, what's up? So the mice are actually very threatening just because they have a they have a high crit rate. There's a grind to level nine or ten for the first boss. What level am I? Huh? Can't believe you grinded to level nine for Frank. Man, I wish skip sandwiches were more frequent. They are so useful. I know, I'm just fucking with you. I don't think you need to be level 9 to, be, to prepare for the Titan Ant. And that's why they're dangerous. You're gonna sit there and tell me that the Frankensteiner Mark II, Mark II is not a boss? Come on, guys. Uh, let's burger up. Please, mice, go away. Ah! You bitch! There we go. I would like to get the big cool thing, but I feel like it's a ways, a ways away.
By the way, here's the other tiny thing you can fight. It's the Antinoid. They're very strong. They can also heal shit. Wang Yu, level 6, it'll take 10 minutes. Uh, well, I'm level 7 right now, but I don't know if that's the level for, uh, for PK luck as this playthrough is gonna have. Come here, bitches! Oh god. Level 10 is what you need to get. Yeah, that's gonna take a hot while. Attack slug. Die! Gotta match that button. After the, after the meteor dropped, you'd be like, Hey, Mom, I just got the sudden ability to, uh... To, to cure, like, scratches and shit that I got with my brain. Is that weird, Mom? Mom, is that weird? Mom, I'm a little weird. Is that weird? Mom, I can cure... I can cure wounds with my brain, Mom. Mom, look, I'm healing the lepers! <laughs> God, if there's a modern game for if there's a modern rendition of this game, you know they would hella tutorialize PSI. Now that I'm done driving, I want to say that Radio Stories is a great game. It very much is. It's got a slow fucking start though. But Radio Stories is very good. And Song of Freedom Fighters is my fucking overworld theme. I know there's a spot where you can get like four to five attack slug spawns and just like turbo grind. Oh boy, a cold remedy. This thing must be spoiled as shit! Wait a minute, did we just pick up a syringe in a cave? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Stop that! We might be in trouble. We might be in trouble! Uh... Oh, thank God. No, not the fucking mouse! Ugh. God, I'm so slow. I'm also in, in very much- No! here. Is it the other reason? Yeah, yeah. PK look is very pivotal. Especially when these douchebags could heal. Oh, god damn it. Oh my god, they won't stop! And this rat just keeps taking fucking chunks out of my health! God, yeah, this is a fucking trash fire of an encounter, holy shit. Ah, 
God, they just keep critting. Don't you fucking dare! Ah! No! No! What is happening? Oh my god. I think I just lose? No, fuck. I didn't mean to defend. I wanted to run away. What a waste of resources. Holy shit. Okay, good, it's just the attack. Oh, that's bad, actually. I don't know if I survived this. I think I just barely survived this. Or not. What a fucking shame. I had 11 bucks beforehand, so I'm like, good. I don't remember the game being this hard. Like, that fucking ant swim was crazy. Char came by. She <laughs> came shop. God, that was garbage. Holy shit. That's really fucking embarrassing that I got a, I got a game over in that scenario. They do the, yeah, they have the concentration thing, but I don't remember what concentration does for them. Hypnotize. Oh, right. They had that, didn't they? Also, where'd the entertainers go? Get supplies. Uh, I don't know if I need them right now. Because I think right now it very much is grind to get fucking uh, PK Rock. <laughs> There's also no better armor right now at this point in the game, so I can't reduce damage further, can I? Oh baby, offense went up. There we go. Now we could just now we could just raffle stomp. Hey guys, what's up? So, for those that are uninitiated, your favorite item is your attack ability and it's very good. Hey, bitches, come here. Oh, damn it. I'm gonna save... I'm gonna save Psy Luck for, uh... For the Antoids. Cause fuck the Antoids. Yeah, the stats are random, but there's a usual lean to certain levels.
Man, fuck this mouse. Oh, I see. There's a there's a idea of what the game wants you to be level wise. That's interesting, actually. Ants. You motherfuckers. Fuck you. Ooh, a cookie. Delightful. I shall gratefully consume. Far I am to the next level. Cause that that uh that ant encounter was fucking eye-opening, let me tell you. One thing to note about Earthbound is that the combat always takes place in these psychedelic uh backdrops, and I have yet to see a game that like replicates this well. It always seems to be like a Photoshop filter job, and I've always been very, uh, unimpre- Uh-oh. Those are ants, aren't they? Fuck. Oh, wait. Yeah, fuck these guys. Now somebody mentioned that there is a butterfly zone. Yeah, oh, god damn it! That's real bad act. Oh, it's not too bad. I thought it I thought one of them was worse. Ooh, I can one-shot antoids. Oh yeah, it's the outside cave, isn't it? Yes, it's here. So, butterflies are very interesting in that they only ever give 20, uh, psychic points. But they are respawnable because they are considered a enemy spawn. But if you know where to go to get them, you are, like, guaranteed to just... Uh, it's, it's effectively a boss fountain. Okay, so my max psychic points are 30. Oh, nice. Come here! What? How? Bullshit! do that. Oh, I, I don't know how to, like, elucidate my thoughts on that, but, like, the long and short of it is that they think they're doing a better service with what they establish when really it's more inconvenient. I've already- I, I- I was thinking maybe I shouldn't have done that, but I'm already here, so fucking whatever. Barkar. I gotta say, having a burger place just outside my apartment is very convenient and very bad for my health, but very convenient. It is nice to think, oh man, I could just have a full course meal for like eight bucks. So if I ever not want to cook, I just don't cook. Yeah, the auto-win function is very nice. I wish more games had this. Did Octopath have auto-win? Oh my god. Don't you fucking dare, Antoids! 
I'll fucking kill you! I never technically beat Octopath. I got to the... The last, last fight and just could not beat it. PC bot has, bat has one use. Oh, it's for auto win. Okay. That's pretty clever, actually. Thank you. Finally got here. This is the first sanctuary location, but it's mine now. Take it from me if you dare. Big fucking ant! Oh, I love this boss theme, though. By the way, they hide an antoid behind the big fucking ant. It's real fucking dirty. Ooh! Oh! Heal! 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 Oh! So that is the big claim to fame for this game, is the rolling HP counter. Even if you take mortal damage, if you get a heal in before a more before a, it ticks down to zero, you can perfectly come back from the brink. Burger up after that one. That was spooky. I forget if Shield A protects against physical or magic. But I think that might cause a problem for me. It's physical. Mmm. -hmm. That's gonna slow down this fight, isn't it? Psych! I'm stupid! Die! I am now level 10. I now have healing A. Look at that, a footprint. I only got the briefest sketch of him. You can Google the Titan Ant if you wanna if you wanna draw it. Then caught a glimpse of a small cute puppy. I believe this also fully heals you? Yes. So if you ever feel like you need a heal and you're fucking crazy, you could just come back to a sanctuary and heal up. Which actually isn't a bad thing, because the moment you beat a sanctuary, every enemy is default afraid of you. The problem is this motherfucker's blocking the way out. Not all bosses are immune to status. Yeah, we got Frank with a sleep spell, if I remember correctly. Could we have gotten uh, Ant with sleep? Yeah, they they spawn a lot of enemies to show you. Yeah, enemies are piss scared of you. Fun fact: the boss theme is a remix of this, but way more higher paced. You can definitely tell that this game, this uh, version of the game is using some emulation just because of that shug. Hey you! The sign says don't enter, douchebag! Nah, I'm stupid! 
come to the Yonet police station later if you want a thrashing. The Chuck is native to the game. Ah. I don't remember because I played it on actual hardware once. And because it was a rental game, I was at, I only played Threed. And let me tell you, your first experience of this game being Threed is, uh, very formative. So the PD wants to talk to us, and that is just not okay, so we should save. Hey, Dad? A ant mauled me! Dad, I don't think you're listening to me. Ooh, a trash can. Damn! Pop quiz. A Beatles song, Extra Day. Can you fill in the blanks? Nah, I'm stupid. <laughs> That's a good one, I like that. Watch the GDQ speedrun and they make use of that. If you spawn a ton of sprites, the game will slow to crawl and some sprites will despawn. Oh, neat. Oh, I'm broke! Shit! I don't want to go back to the inn, but I think the burger... What if the pizza place has an ATM? Oh. Damn, it's closed. No, I don't want to walk all the way back! Damn it! Wow, there's no ATM at the burger place, what the fuck? Man, Dad gave me $500. That's crazy. Dad, are you okay? That's a lot of money. I mean, I could get a Nintendo with this. Or I could get a $14 burger. Oh? Uh? Burgers were not this expensive back in the day, were they? But yeah, if I have 200 bucks in my pocket, I'll buy a $14 burger and fucking cry. Fourteen bucks for a burger was highway robbery. Yeah, it was. Ugh, man, my ear. You get a Big Mac for a buck. Also, man, I gotta use the head, so I'll be right back.
All right, I'm back. I also got myself a snack. Because uh, I talked about this back before, but uh, the local Asian market has these ube cakes, and they're just so fucking good. They also hella dry out your mouth, though, so I also got a drink. Mm. All right, let's continue. Cop station! I'd rather be working as a parking meter cop. I'm sick of it, it's so busy. I'm Steve, don't ever try talking to me. You're the little shithead that came back from Giant Step! Now you listen here. Blah blah blah, blah blah blah. Those tax evaders and blah blah blah. It's usually the local whiners that make a big deal about meteors! Yeah, it's a fucking meteor! Oh, right! We could have just left for Tucson, but we didn't. At times like this, kids like you should be playing PC games, wink! Yeah, I wanna go to Tucson. So you're supposed to go sleep at your mom's place and then Paula calls you up on her psychic telephone to tell you to come to Tucson. And then you realize that the, t that the road is blocked and you gotta talk to the cops because they're pissed at you. And you have to fight a lot of cops. Hey, small fry, you must be shaking in your boots. The cops fucking hurt. Also, this absolutely tracks for cops. The only problem with this is that, uh, this really sucks. Uh, I think I'm gonna... I think I'm gonna burg up here. I don't remember taking this much damage against the cops. I don't remember taking this much damage against the cops, holy shit! Oh, you won. Remember, even in 1990X, all cops are bastards. Also, he just called me fat. Fuck you. God, it's a good, it's a good goddamn thing I kept my fucking uh, psychic points down. Because these guys are assholes. Also, one thing they got this gate they got uh correct here is that incorrect here is that the cops would absolutely take your shit before, you know, belting you in the back room. Let that tick up a little bit, you know, kinda let that go up. We're gonna need to investigate that money. We don't know where your dad's getting all this money from. It's fucking weird. Really, we're beating up because we suspect your dad is involved in some kind of cash scam. Fuck that, I'm leaving. Oh right, I forgot the last guy just fucking leaves. 
There's no way I could beat you in a straight competition, so get ready for my Super Ultra man Mambo Tango Foxtrot Martial Arts! This is fucked up. Ah, uh, goddammit, of course. Yeah, that fucking submission hold that sucks ass, and I think he outpaces me, so... We should probably use a life up. Please keep losing your temper, it means you aren't attacking me. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna. Do I still have a burg? I do. I'm gonna burg up. Burg up! Man, he just keeps losing his temper. See, if you didn't lose your temper all the time, you could just beat me down, but nah, you gave me enough time to eat a whole ass burger in front of you. So, this would never happen if you beat up the cops. A kid named Wang will be there in a few minutes. That's fucking stupid! There's no kid named Wang! You're dumb! Oh yeah, you'd be fucking thrown in the fucking pokey. But remember, this is the idyllic dream America RPG experience. And then the idyllic American dream, cops are still assholes! So before we go, I want to do something very important, which means I have to go all the way back home. Damn, I already ate that fucking ube cake. Holy shit. I just kind of just inhaled that shit. People would burn down the arcade in protest. God, right? I will admit this, thinking about the events that have transpired today in the current, uh atmosphere of things. Uh... I am very impressed with N Nintendo's decision to not create Earthbound NFTs. Yeah, here's the clue which tells you what you're supposed to do next. The game could just say it's Gigas' influence, but no, fuck that. They did what? I'm saying they have... I'm glad they had the restraint to not make NFTs. Because you, you could get a lot of people like that. Oh, right. She doesn't tell you that yet. Uh, I'm never gonna fucking use the town map. I don't think I need the cold remedy either because I have uh, PK healing. But there's a cool thing with your sister later on in that she joins uh, Escargo Express. And then you can just phone her up whenever. And I always, I, do, I always like that to where, um, one of the things that Fangamer has is a tote bag for Escargo Express, and I fucking bought it. Still have it. Don't use it much because it's not big enough, but I still love that bag. I have the Escargo Express, uh, tote tag on my backpack, though. Also, skip sandwiches are fucking great. Does my healing skill not cover colds? Oh, god damn it. Q 
Here's a cold sunstroke or sleep. Lamau, Lamau, Lamau. Imagine Pokemon NFTs. Man, that'd be so fucking free, wouldn't it? And now we could go to Tucson. You might be thinking of poison. Also, did one of those motherfuckers resist it? No! Good night, Sosagomi. Okay, good. Not gonna waste 20 goddamn minutes fighting a bunch of ants. What level are you? I think I'm 11? Yeah, I'm level 11. I live red free in the mouse house. The mice are known as exit mice. They are very kind and boy are they fast. I really love these little guys. Please take my son along. He may look like a small mouse, but he can lead you to an exit if you are lost in a maze. You can just throw my son in your backpack. I don't give a fuck. I love the exit mice. I think they're very cute. There's a lot of good novel ideas in this game that are just fun. I wonder if there's an item around here. Better never get rid of that mouse. Nah. How long has this hamburger been on the path? Oh no, mushroom! This might be what you're thinking of. Rambling evil mushroom! These guys suck. No! They fucking did it! Oh no! Is this on the Switch? Yes it is, Void Knight. But it requires you to have the uh, online service. Also, hello, Void Knight and TPR. Don't worry, TPR. I know the true power of being third. So, first off, Burg up. But the mushroom really sucks. Because eventually, my controls are gonna get fucking weird. But yeah, we just took like a five minute stroll and we're in Tucson? I'm not an enemy, I'm a friendly mole. It's easy to tell an enemy just by looking at them. They look like humans with weird faces. Be careful. But you can't get more powerful if you avoid your problems. I always like this town's theme. It's very nice. Oh, there we go. Okay, so... That would be like this. Now I can control again. What? Why are you taking a photo of me with a mushroom? Go away! No, don't take a picture of my shame! Ah! The guy identified too soon with more than Monet. I never had a swap meet in my town. My town was that small. Oh god damn it, Rassus, don't make me do this. Oh yeah! Pictures taken instantly, brother! I'm a photographic genius if I do say so myself! Now get ready for an instant memory! Look into the camera and say, Fuzz Pickles! Wow, that was something else. Also, look, it's Mr. T. I saw some weird bad guys following Nita. This guy gave me the creeps. I need to find the hospital first. Because I need to get rid of this. Also, the Chaos Theater is so fucking dope. Also, these guys are so fucking dope! 
Hey, we are the Runaway Five. We're popular, but we're not rich. We're being cheated by the theater, and we're real deep in debt. Sorry to hear that, Mario. Where's the hospital? I have a fungal infection. Oh no, I need the map! Yeah, I am such a fan of the Runaway Five that I have one of their t-shirts. But Highwing, the Runaway Five is a fictional band. Yes, they are. I have their t-shirt. It's north. Ah, oh, great. Wish I had a skip sandwich. Uh, why is the hospital here? Hippies! Yeah! It's the New Age Retro Hippie! It's my Steam name! We beat up hippies in the streets! I think that was an ad campaign for this game. Like, part of the ad campaign was you could beat up hippies in the street. I think I want to talk to this guy. I am a healer. If you have some illness that can't be treated at the hospital, it's my job to cure you. Could you sell me that mushroom? Sure. Oh shit. Huh. Kinda of great, actually. Well, now that we've done that, we could go shopping at the Tucson department store. What did you guys think the department store was back in the day? I always allocated this to Kmart. Dang, Dad, fucking kidding me? Nice. Dad, you've almost given me a thousand dollars. Are you okay? Martin Gar. Baker. Man, I wish I had a three story department store in my towns. I just have big ass malls. We had a big ass mall in my town, so I was allocated with that. Damn, was it three stories tall? Evil bat, slingshot. Uh, I believe the slingshot's better, but it's less accurate, isn't it? I wasn't born when this game was released. Holy shit! Less accurate, can't crit. Fuck that. So, if you ever want to get anything, a teddy bear is fucking great. Cause it's a party member! I love that speed trap of the slingshot. I should probably deposit these items, shouldn't I? Or this money. Sir, you zeroed out your bank account. I'm gonna bring 200 with you for the copper bracelet. That's a good idea. I forgot that the market is actually legit. Sir, you've been making multiple withdrawals and deposits. Are you okay? So in order to properly do the narrative, we need to go to po to uh, Polestar Preschool. I never do this, so I want to do this. Nina isn't here. I don't know where she went.
spooky music. When I grow up, I want to be just like Nina. Like a mom to me. <laughs> this is a bad name. I may have a baby face, but I have the mind of an adult. Yeah, sure, kid. I'm gonna play with Nina, but she's gone somewhere. Whistle, whistle, anywhere. It makes you smile all the while. I'm Nina's mom. I'm taking care of these kids. Don't worry about her. She is a guardian angel, I think. You wanna see Nina? Many come to see her miraculous powers, but they're just leeches. Are you from a TV station or what? Nah. To meet you or not can only be decided by Nina. She said that she would meet a boy named Wang. You're the one that was in her dream. You will save the world. I, I guess? She doesn't seem to be here. I wonder where she went. Uh, uh, could you come back later? Oh shit, I think I just realized something. We didn't need to buy the teddy bear. <laughs> If my daughter was dreaming it about Wang, oh boy! Oh, my moniker is fucking terrible. So I believe some weird stuff happens around town after you do this, but I never see that because of this. Brooklyn Park seems to be kind of dangerous, but there's some great shit here. Boss of Bergen Park is Everdread. He's got ties to burglaries and kidnappings. He's a scary guy. Everdread is always watching over the park. That's why we don't have to bribe any crooked cops. Is there no police station here? The for sale sign is weird in that you can just sell your items whenever. Hey, thanks for the follow, Arise. But it's kind of like a wasted inventory slot. Hey, can I use the defense spray? Yeah, buy this cheap ass bracelet, please. No! No bananas, please. Uh, we definitely need some food for what's coming up. Mr. T, do you have anything? Of course Evertread isn't a good person, but he's actually quite warm-hearted for a crime boss. I love how we're just casually talking about this Evertread guy. I wonder who the fuck he could be. Why don't we have a chat later after I BEAT YOUR ASS! Look at this guy. Why do you keep knitting your brow? Ah! You fucking bit me! So the teddy bear is great because it could take attacks. Oh no! He bit the teddy bear's head off! He murdered that fucking bear! Yeah, I'm Evertread. When I jumped off the roof, I twisted my ankle. Anyways, I lost and nothing else changed that. You know you're pretty strong. You're looking for a girl named Nina? She went off to a secret hideout in peaceful Rust Valley. A chubby boy and a weird guy in a blue outfit of kidnapped her though. They said they're gonna make Nina some kind of human sacrifice. They're definitely hardcore weird. 
You better hurry. If you save Nina, be sure to come back here, okay? Don't forget. I broke my ankle! Chat to bring up a good point, Egg. Twelve dollars for an egg. Let me go here. We get a, a thing. No? Huh. What do you think Everdread smells like? Whiskey and drugs. I'm pretty sure... Actually, hmm. I'm pretty sure Everdread does blow. Let's check it out. Oh, this house is actually kind of normal. Look at that. I thought Everdread was a reference to Cheech and Chong. I could see it. Dog! There's a kidnapping. Believe me, even though I'm just a dog. Woof. So, I forget how the game tells you this, but you want to go this way? You have the time that he doesn't go to Chaos Theater immediately. What? We want to go here, I believe. It's somewhere around this part. I forget where, though. Wait, am I going crazy? Where the fuck is Peaceful Valley? Hey, brawler, what's up? Okay, here it is. Good lord. Thank you, chat. Go to the east, you can run in trouble. Peaceful Rest Valley and Happy Happy Village are waiting for you. I've also heard that there are UFOs in Peaceful Rest Valley. That's fucking weird, but okay. I heard the girl named Nina was kidnapped while helping out at the Polestar Preschool. That's right. Chilling after work. I don't know if I can say I can feel that because, like, holy shit, that's some late work. What's in here? Now, admittedly, I believe this is, like, the hardest part of the game. Just because the enemies we're about to fight are real fuckers. <laughs> That's fucking weird, but okay, is it br Yeah. <laughs> the main difficulty in this game is in the beginning just because you are always, al you're like, alone. Humdy dum, I'm hunting for mushrooms. I'm gonna collect a ton. Damn, I feel that. Mushrooms are great. I had some in my pasta today. It was wonderful. Hey, buddy, what happened? Oh, God, it's an UFO. We gotta be careful. Right! Son of a bitch! So what a reason. Pencil-shaped statue is blocking the way. I knew I forgot something. This sucks. I should have known about this. I completely forgot. Isn't Happy Happy a cult? Yeah! It is a reference to the cult that did the searing gas attacks at about the same time. That shit was fucked up. Ooh, croissant. I love croissants, they're so nice.
Oh boy. Look, man, I gotta, I gotta see a man about a fucking orange. Please leave. God damn it. There's a funny bit with the exit mice. How so? So I gotta adjust my ears because these headphones are a little tight. We forgot the bike. The bike feels like such a trap just because you only use it for this segment and that's it because not because four people can't ride a bike. Can't even use the bike with the bear. Yep. I haven't taken a bath in quite a while, so I kind of reek. By the way, I'm starving. You got something to eat? Chet? Chet, do you think, uh... you think he'll go for it? Ah! Uh, don't call my chicken garbage! Here, have this banana. Sure. Yeah, five, half, two, and a bunch. My dad's just giving this shit away. I'll also leave a cookie at your place. <laughs> Hope you like it. I'm a mouse. No one has given me a name yet. You took care of my master. In return, I want to give you this. Wayne got a cellular phone. Hi, it's your dad. I've been calling for hours. Dad? Dad did our phone number immediately. <laughs> Dad, how'd you get this number? I still need to clear up inventory space, so we're gonna eat this cookie. Dad has spies in all places. Place is open. Look at the mock pizza. We don't sell pizzas, we only deliver. Let me give you our number. I like how they whisper the phone number so you don't actually call a phone number and fucking scare someone. Trigger the weird thing that ne that the dad does. Back in the days when selling the books, there were actual consumer cell phones that could only receive. I still doesn't explain how dad knows our number. But uh, I forget how long we have to wait. But eventually, Apple Kid gives us a thing, I believe. Beep boop. Hippie? Ow, hippies hurt. Forget if you need to head back towards the statue. Oh god, I really hope we don't have to. That'd fucking suck. Yeah, we have to, don't we?
Did you know that the pager industry is still up and running? You'd think now that cell phones had text messages, you would just text someone a code and the doctors would know instantly what the code is. No, if our dad was psychic, it would explain how he knew our phone number instantly, but then again, I didn't know my phone number. You tried to summon minions, didn't you, you little shit? Fuck! Damn you, iframes! Man, this teddy bear's a fucking trooper. Our dad is Shigetsato Itoi, that's how he knows. Teddy Bird is out there on the front of the tiles. What a trooper. Look at how cute it is, too. Well, we got to the statue. I don't remember what we're supposed to do here. Did you examine it? Yes, I did. It's a, for some odd reason, a thing is in the way. Oh, wait! Do we have to invest in fucking Orange Kid, too? Oh, thanks! I got Metroid Dread data for Dante Must Die mode. Mushrooms are very strong against psychic attacks. Go figure. Yeah, yeah. For those that don't know, don't invest in fucking Orange Kid. He's worthless. What the fuck is that noise? I should press this button. Hey, this is Apple Kid. I, I just finished work on a great invention. Get here as fast as you can. This thing is so cool. A lot of equipment uh, in common in hospitals. Cell phones are horribly unreliable and pages are more resistant. Ah, that I'd believe. You know, Apple is saving a lot of money on electronic shielding. <laughs> oh, fuck! We got a party boy here! You can't complain to my teddy bear, he's stupid! Now die! I broke that man's neck with a baseball bat. Hey, loser, what's up? What? Run, it's the hippie! Violent hippies are gathered in the streets! I think Apple Kid is here. Whoa! Oh, there he is. Feeling really out of it because I've been working all night. Bro, it's only been 20 minutes. The pencil eraser is ready. What? 
weapons will eradicate all pencil-shaped figures in one second. It's incredibly shit powerful. Don't use it at a pencil store. What? I smell something. It smells like patchouli and violence. What is that from, TPR? Because that sounds very familiar to me, but I don't remember why. Do we have inventory space? Well, I do now. God, I love the song. It's so... All the town music in this game is just great. Nah, dog. Gonna cheat real hard. Wow, plant, you're stupid. Dumber than my bear. Amazing. I love you, teddy bear. You're such a good fellow. So I want to do something. Ah! I wanted to phone for pizza. Let's fight this thing! Oh, no, go away! A little UFO, aww. Let's kill it with psychic warfare! Oh no, teddy bear! Shit! Poor bear guy, San. I spent like two days building that teddy bear from gunpla parts. Now it's dead. And thus the pencil was thwarted. Our greatest nemesis. Is there anything up here? Doesn't look like it. <gasps> Fuck! That fucking tree almost got me! Ah, uh, my weed butterfly, thank you. Yeah, that tree almost fucking blindsided me. What are you? Oh, the spinning robot, right. Ah! I'm being shot by fucking laser beams now! And now I have a cold! This is the worst coming of age story ever! I thought this was a spinning robot! What's it doing? It's shooting fucking laser beams at me! Well, time to psychic away the cold! I love the idea of ne of Wang here just focusing real hard and then curing the cold away. COVID-19 leave my brain! Oh shit. Man, that did fuck all. Uh oh. Uh oh. Please stop shooting me! What?! Okay, good. 
You motherfucker! Get out of here! Now we could go back up and get the, uh... The butterfly spawn, but it's a little risky. But I think with all the spawns that are appearing, the risk may be worth it. Butterfly spawn was around here, I believe? There you are. Yeah, I fucking need this. Straight up, this sucks ass. The worst thing about the aliens is you can never back attack them because they technically don't have a back. Oh my god! Get your head in the game, Wang! God, my fucking luck's been just atrocious. Concentrating real hard is better than drinking MMS. What about... What about consuming Ivermectin? Is it more dangerous than that? What if you just drink... What if you just take an antiparasitic for your virus? Ooh, yes. Consume cup capsule. All of these trees are very violent. Be careful. I wonder who made the bridge impassable. How does someone do this? Dang it! I feel you, man. I too would have loved to have had that bridge in operating condition. Ooh, croissant. What's my HP looking like? I should eat that croissant. Mm -hmm. Yummy! I love buttery, fluffy pastries. There's a thing up there. I'm going the wrong way. Ivermectin only works if you take horse dose amounts. The internal do <laughs> the internal <laughs> the internal bleeding means it's working. God, I watched a wild ass anime today with some friends. Uh good buddy of the stream, Lola the Puzzler, showed off the anime movie Blackjack. And uh I was weirdly fascinated with that show just by merit of like I was genuinely trying to figure out what the disease was that everybody was afflicted with. And it was kind of a fun watch. And it was a show made in like 98, so it was like really neat to see how the uh, old animation techniques. Oh hell yeah, fucking Re Resurrection Ramon. Uh, the Blackjack movie was pretty good, Agr Agrinash. I liked it a lot. Personally, I think 10 out of 10. There's only one thing I don't like about the ending, but aside from that, it was a very fun watch. I was I was pitched that uh, Blackjack is the Doctor equivalent of Golgo 13. So take that as you will. God, fuck these UFOs. But also, uh, what's it called? Um, Blackjack is not as horny as, uh, Golgo 13, so that's a plus? Do I have any goods I could eat? Nah. Well, is it the doctor version of Golgo? Kinda? 
It has a lot of the isms of Golgo 13. Welcome to Happy Happy Village. This is where the stream gets weird. I want to find a house, though. But I'm getting menaced! Fuck off! The insane cult has trapped you. Please stop painting on me! These clothes are bought to me by my mom! My mom spent a lot of money on these clothes. I think they're less expensive than a burger, I think? But, you know, money is very important. All of our products are blessed. Be blessed. I'm trying to find the quote-unquote inn, so give me a hot minute. This is the doctor's office. This is not an inn. These guys were censored for the US release. I bet they were white, weren't they? I'm just a plain old cow, but Mr. Carpenter's message always moves me. Fuck. Meager living farm. That overweight kid, help me. We can Motherfuckers. I like that little audio clip there, like... Doo -doo 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 -doo. Hi, I would like one lodging, please. I thought you were free, goddammit. Come and help me! I don't know where I am. I can hear water! Yeah, that's helpful. They had a letter H on their forehead. What was that indicative of? Oh, was that the- was that the cult attack from Japan? Was that the icon they had? hoo No. Fuck! I don't like this place. It's fucking weird, man. I think, though, we could get some free items here. Never mind, I thought the items were free. We trust you. Buy something. Buy something now, cretin. HH could be seen as ah. Ooh, flat upgrade. I believe this is also a flat upgrade. Damn, all right, sure. You can buy something there and pay zero for it. Nice. Sadly, I am too much of a good... good ah! What the fuck? Why do the insane cults resist my psychic attacks? I studied real hard at the Kung Fu Dojo for this! That's another thing that's like a weird cult following is fake psychic martial arts.
Are you Wang? I had a dream that Wang was my destiny. <clears throat> Uh, this is the first date and all. You just need to like, hmm. You didn't come out and try to bust out of here. You can't open the door, you have to get the key from Carpenter. You can control lightning. You should wear this Franklin badge. I'll wait here until you return. Just kick butt like I know you can. Very useful! Hey Wang, you're just here to bother me, aren't ya? You can call me Master Pokey since Carpenter made me an important person in Happy Happyism. You should join us, but I know you won't. I'm glad I joined. I'm not gonna fight you. Later, Tater. Oh, God damn it! I like how the crow fucking joins in on the fun. I can't believe Pokey is a piece of shit! Hey, what if the crow stole the chicken? Ah. Pretty sure I messed up one of my old computers emulating this. Sadly, Mother 3 will never be a release. And I just have to accept that and cry. It's Porky. Because the entire gambit of Mother 3 relies on his name being Porky. It's my health looking like. I should probably take a good old nap. I heard many footprints exist down in the East Cave. People call that Lilliput Streams and it makes them feel uneasy. Oh, God damn it! Oh, good. Oh, yeah, the Majipsies exist in that game, and Nintendo's real, like, lame about that. remember this game being so aggressive. Ooh. Yes. Give me that fucking caramel. Holy shit. Uh. Oh no. <coughs> oh, fuck this travel charm. I don't need that. I almost threw away the chicken and that would have been terrible. Wow, my max HP went up by 43! Hello? Yes, I have fifty dollars. Let me in. One hundred and sixty-five HP. Dang. That's fucking great. That means I can get my ass beat even further and not have to worry. But now we have to go say hi to Mr. Carpenter who lives here. In a barn. Of fucking weirdos. Oh, fuck me. There's so much I have to get. Get out of my way, losers! I don't have my sister's phone number yet, and that's weird. I thought she'd give me that that info already. Hmm. I forget how I'm supposed to do this. I 
I guess it was just this way. What do you know? I'd be so homesick now if it was... How does a chicken remind me of home? God, Wang, you're weird. Chicken's reminding you of home, hello? Oh, God, I don't remember how I'm supposed to do this. I genuinely forget who I have to talk to. There we go. Oh man, look at that. Look at that frame rate sizzle. You strange unmasked fellow, don't go to heaven. <laughs> Death, die, I'll crush your soul. Oh man, oofa. Right, I don't have anything to use, do I? Hi, ice cream. Because I didn't know what else to do. As a tech demo, here's a bunch of happy ha Hey, wait a minute. What the fuck? I've been waiting for you. I need your assistance to help me make the world blue and change it to a happy and peaceful society. Will you be my right-hand man? Fuck no. If you don't want to be right my right-hand man, I'll introduce you to my left. Franklin Badge, bitch! God, I love that fucking boss intro so much! Crashing boom bang attack! Right, he can heal. And his paint attack is very strong. I believe the gimmick of this is that you want the crashing boom bang attack to hit you. Because that's where uh, the lion's share of your money is going to come from, your attack is going to come from. But like, none of them are hitting me. There we go. Wait, it said it made life up disappear. Hang on a second. Now, if you were clever, you would have a bear here as well, and you would take the lion's share of hits. But also, I should be getting hit by lightning, you motherfucker! God damn it! There we go. Wow, I just beat this man to death with a baseball bat! Do you see the many, many statue behind me? Since I got it, I've been doing weird things. I just want to have a normal life. I'm sorry. Here's the key for the jail cell. Uh, problem. We 
got the key to the jail cell! Looks like almost everything, everyone woke up and left. There are only three people remaining. I don't want to stay. I'm getting out of here. Sorry about everything. Let's be buddies! You hit me with a paintbrush. What a horrible nightmare! Uh, I woke up somehow! Let's be friends again! I promise to be good! Uh, okay? Psych! Neener, neener! <laughs> Fucking Pokey. What the hell? So why is Pokey being the asshole right now? That's what I want to know. What got in Pokey's head and said, hey, you should be a prick? We did it! You're just like how I imagined you'd be. Uh, did you not see me through the bars? Immediately use a little second power that's actually pretty deadly. Let's head back to Tucson, but let me get my security teddy bear! And then the game got significantly easier. Nina has a bread roll and a teddy bear. So yeah, about the se- WHOA! So, why are the birds so- ah! <laughs> Sir! Sir, there is a wild animal behind me! Please, not now! God damn it, alright, fucking fuzzy pickles! Statuses. She is currently level one with two in every set. But she starts with PK Freeze that does about 180 points of damage. She is instantly able to just completely own your soul. Butterfly! How much money do I have? Because we need to get Nina geared up. Damn, Dad! I just was, I just zeroed out my bank account a while ago. What the fuck? Dad, are you like funding my college fund or something? What's going on here? Which of you will carry this burden? I guess Dad knew I would have to buy copper bracelets soon. What do you have? Oh god, what does the lucky sandwich do? I forget. Yeah, my account will be credited. Uh, 
Okay, so one thing to know about this game is that Nina tells you that we need to get to uh, Tucson immediately, but what they don't tell you is about the is that if you don't talk to the people here, you might forget about the sanctuary. The sanctuary is here. It's a very simple dungeon. Actually, I think it's a very simple dungeon. You engage the mole playing rough. So yeah, Nina's not a physical attacker. What she is, is psychic warfare. It does a lot of damage. Ooh, I leveled up. Also, Nina leveled up. Twice! She also got fire, which is very good. And we just gained five levels casually, ain't no thing. Big fucking bear. Also think things we eat and spree now. That would make sense, wouldn't it? Oh no! At this point in the game, it's very important that you, uh, level up, uh, Nina, yes. Cause she is level 1 and we are 17, we are huge. She also gets PSI Shield Alpha, which is very important. Yes! PSI Fire is a row of enemies. Very important. What, is, what happens when a Mr. Batty feels strange? I've never been able to suss that out. PK Fire! So the reason- so the fact that Ness has PK Fire in Smash is fucking bullshit. I think a first in almost every case having to do with a lot of crows means you'll get stuff removed from your inventory. Mission just having one count in general. I don't think that they have 77 speed. That's a lot of data for the crows. We went from getting five levels to one. Get over here. Feel strange is confused. Ah. Uh oh. I would like to try to beat uh, this sanctuary by tonight at least. A jar of hot sauce? Oh yeah, she also gets thunder, which is super unreliable. Jar of hot sauce, you use sprinkle over food. Increases the strength of your recovery. Nina took the jar of hot sauce and used it on the croissant. Man, that just sounds terrible! It didn't taste very good, but it maxed out her HP. Let me just put my fucking, uh... God, what's the spicy sauce with the chicken on it? I forget off the top of my head. Szechuan sauce, I believe? No, that's that's McDonald's. Shiracha, thank you. My brain just completely forgot. I eat a hot croissant. It, it just sounds like it'd be a nothing, honestly. Mighty bear. Mighty Bear Strikes Bear! Mighty Bite! Shiracha Ketchup Green on Hot Dogs. That tracks. So there should be a cave around here that'll allow me to get a butterfly. 
which is necessary because Nina's M oh there it is. Nina's MP is getting low. Ah! My ball! Wow, this butterfly's fucking fast! I need healing! So it looks like the butterfly zone is up there. Gotta keep that in mind. I think Nina needs more MP. Let's check. She could use a little bit, yeah. Get the fuck over here! Nah, I don't want to deal with more fights than I need to. Well, fuck it, I guess I'm fighting that bat. If Nissan is paralysis, you don't need to worry about uh, psychic points. How does paralysis help with that? Let's see if I can boost through the bear as he moonwalks. Oh, that's a lot of fucking bear. The fact that we could do mortal damage to a bear with a baseball bat is actually kind of impressive. Oh god! That just really wants to be weird. Ooh, PK Flash. That's real interesting. Alright, fine, bear. I guess we'll do this. Damn, nice! NICE! Fuck this bear! We just went up this bear and mauled him! Ooh, whoa! We already have freeze beta, holy shit. Hey bitch, I have PSI freeze beta, you ready to die? As I save state. Mondo Mole! Chat saying paralysis is the way to go, huh? There we go. Well, let's try something else. Oh right, Nut Thunder sucks! He may be para paralyzed, but he still has psychic stuff, which does fuck all. The main issue right now is that Nina's still like level 9, so fucking. We're not gonna be doing much for damage. 
Oh, right. And I don't have magnet yet. This should do it. There we go. Yeah. Now Nina should level up a whole lot here. Or two or twice, fine, sure. And we will end the stream by getting to Lilliput Steps. What's a Lilliput? Wang had a vision of a baby in a red cap. That's weird! From Gulliver's Travel, a race of time people. Ah. So before we call it an evening, let's let's just listen to that soundstone. And we'll call it there for the evening. I'm probably gonna continue this. This is this is fun. It's very pleasant to just, you know, sit down and just enjoy something that's just very familiar to you. <laughs> Start with the so sandstone as a national anthem. Ah, oh, but it's an incomplete song is the issue. But yeah, we'll call it there for the evening.